Hello and welcome to Chimbo's Gaming. I am Scorp and today on my Steam Deck I am using Windows and with the help of Clippy I'm going to show you how to add Epic Games as a non-Steam game in your library. Uh, I'm going to do a series of these videos so maybe check out the playlist that might pop up in the corner because I'm going to keep these videos quite small rather than do one big one so you can find the information easier. But yes, so it looks like you're using Windows on your Steam Deck. Would you like to add an Epic Game as a non-Steam game? Yes, I would. And if you've added non-Steam games to your Steam library before, you would know that you go to games, <coughs> add game to my library, and then what you would normally try and do would click browse, you'd find your game in the library, and then you would add the exe. And now this works for De Detroit Become Human, uh, but if you tried this for Fall Guys, for instance, and there's four of these to try, and I've tried all of them, none of them will work. And uh, the same goes for Rocket League. And basically, it just won't start with either the anti-cheat or the online services or something else. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to create a link from Epic inside the Epic Store library. So come to your Epic Store, come to your library, and then click these triple dots next to your game, so Rocket League. And we are going to click Manage. And then we are going to click Create Desktop Shortcut. And I'm going to do that also for... Fall Guys, Manage, uh, Create Desktop Shortcut, Create. So that has now created these two links on our desktop, Fall Guys and Rocket League. So again, what you might do is you might come to Steam and then you might click non-Steam games and then browse to your desktop and try and add one of these. And if you did, it would say catastrophic failure, not just a normal failure, catastrophic one. So adding those links directly doesn't work. So what I'm going to do is going to cheat a little and I'm going to quickly just add Microsoft Edge and I don't know, WordPad as non-Steam games and click Add Selected Programs and they should now pop up here, Edge and WordPad. Don't worry, we don't actually want those, but what we do want is we want to come back to the desktop and we are going to right-click on Fall Guys, Properties, and you can see here this URL. This is how Epic opens its games using the URL protocol. So we're going to click into this URL, we're going to click Control A and Control C to copy everything in that list. Okay, and then we are going to come back to our Steam library and for Microsoft Edge, I'm going to click the cog and properties and I'm going to delete the starting completely and the target I am going to change to the URL that we've just copied. So this was for Fall Guys. So I'm going to rename this just to Fall Guys and close that. And the same again for the WordPad. I'm going to come to Rocket League on the desktop, click Properties. In the URL, click Control A, Control C, and OK that. And then again, come back to our Steam library, come to WordPad, click the cog, Manage, oh, sorry, Properties, delete the starting, insert the URL there, and rename this to Rocket League. And that is it. So if we try and play this now, you will see. And there we go, Fall Guys has launched with the online services and the anti-cheat from Steam without going into Epic. And again, if we click on the Rocket League and click play, that should launch with all the extra grubbins. And this is the Epic version of Rocket League loaded through Steam as a non-Steam game. And everything seems to work fine. We'll just quit out of this. So that is how you add those games manually, but that means you don't have the nice pretty icons. So instead, I'm going to show you how to do that with software. And previously, Prox of this very channel, of Prox Play Stuff also, showed us how to use some software called Boiler by Philip K, which is on GitHub. And it also, thankfully, has a Windows version. So if you'd like to just look at his guide, I'm not going to cover every step that he did, but basically just download Boiler for Windows. And then once it's installed, you should launch it. And then in your settings, you are going to need to put in a API key for Steam Grid DB, which you can get on their website. Again, I will put a link to Prox's video where he guided us through this nice and easily. So I've added my API key and then down here where it says Epic Games, we are going to want to force Fall Guys and Rocket League to launch through the Epic Launcher. Otherwise, we won't get anti-cheat and we won't get online services. So we need to do that. Um, I'm just going to click Save Settings right there. In fact, I'm going to make this bigger so we can see it. So click Save Settings. And then come back to Import Games. Click the ones we want and 
click this button here, import games into Steam. Oh, and before I forget, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click stop game, uh, stop Steam before import and start Steam after import. So we'll click save and back to import games. Click the button. That should then close Steam and then reopen Steam. So Boiler has now run and restarted Steam. And as you can see, we now have nice icons, some nice borders and pictures and things on all our non-Steam games. Fall Guys, Detroit, Rocket League, or and even, even Trials Rising from Ubisoft, which I didn't show. But it's fine, it's fine. But there you go. That is how to add games manually from Epic and also using software. So that is it for this video. If you'd like to know a little more, there'll be another video up here and also the playlist over here where I do some more Windows things. So maybe check out the playlist. There'll be things like configuring the controller using some software, uh, have, getting the deck UI as well. So I've been Scott. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Catch you next time. Hello.